near the university and they found this uh, beautiful uh, park. Let me show you how it looked like. I think it's called the uh, university park. <laughs> Very simple. Seeing some music, a lot of young energy, and I love it. for the, the President's Palace, I think it's called Marinsky Palace. Very organized as usual. I refuse to use Google Maps. I'm just walking, asking the locals. Uh, I think I'm on the right way because the buildings start to look more luxurious. So yes, I'm heading to the President's Palace, I guess. But let's, uh, let's see. This area looks really nice, uh, like very historic uh, building. And I think I recognize where I am because uh, you remember where there was that sign like I love Ukraine? That was on that way there. And this special way. Let me give you a 360 tour of where I am right now. This is it. This is it. beautiful. <laughs> now always the stressful part is how to cross to the other side because again the, the, the yeah should they call them avenues or boulevard they are huge so they don't want to I think interrupt the traffic and that's kind of smart because it helps the traffic uh, keeping uh, fluid. So if you want to cross you have to go underground like this you see here. So yeah this one is an underground passage. You go to the other side and then you can cross but yeah I don't they, I rarely saw like a big boulevard here with the way to cross like like normally. So um, yeah, that's how it is. All right, let's go to the art of uh, friendship. If I'm pronouncing it well. No, I don't think I'm on the right. Hold on, no, no. There is an indication here. Let's see. Dynamo Stadium, no, I don't want to watch the Dynamo Kiev. Nativity of Christ Church, no, I don't want to pray. River Terminal, Monument of Independence. I'll use my six uh, sons. <laughs> Lucisium sons, how do you translate this in, the, in English? I see everyone going that way, so I'm gonna follow them simply. I'll go underground. We'll get it done, on my way. Mask on. Whoever is single watching this video, it's too much. It's too much. Like I am, I would say, it's crazy. I am happy when I see normal girls. You know, not the ones that look uh, like uh, out of a Victoria's Secret uh, uh, magazine, who are also normal girls. I think I'm going into a risky, <laughs> a risky field. Let it change the topic. The weather is nice. <laughs> no, you know what I mean. It's too much. And the crazy part, I think nobody has told them, you know, like they... That they look like, like models, you know, like if they would have been living in Paris or Berlin, they would be like modeling for the biggest magazines, agencies. Oh my God. Look at the big, beautiful... Moment. 
So this is called uh, the People's Friendship Arch. It was built in 1982. Ukraine was still part of the Soviet Union. So it was to commemorate two things. 60 years of the Soviet Union, but also 1,500 years of, uh, of the creation of the city of Kiev. But since 2016, there is a law that, that they call the, the decommunization uh, law. So which, as you can guess, is a law that kind of work in the sense to kind of take off the communist stuff that Ukraine inherited from the Soviet Union. Since you see the two men there in black, let's get closer to them. Both of them are holding the Soviet order of friendship of people. So all of that stuff, yes, is purely uh, communist. The pink uh, sculpture that you see here with different uh, ethnicities, you could clearly see that there are different ethnicities. You see the lady there, her head is covered, looks like she is having a scarf, looks like she is Muslim. The other guy is playing like with an oriental uh, instrument. The guy in the middle looks more like, you know, like the Soviet Union uh, guy. So this one is to commemorate a meeting that happened in 16, uh, in the 17th century, like 1600 something. That uh, meeting is when the Cossacks pledged their alliance to the Tsar of Russia. So that's where, you know, like Russia started really to build a huge influence over the various like lands and tribes that uh, that actually Russia has to live. The last time I saw on the internet was it like more than yeah more than a hundred like ethnicities and I don't know how many uh, languages. And you see this arch here that you see. Here is the arch you see. Yep. So they are they are, they are planning they are planning to take it off and uh, replace it with uh, I don't know something to honor to honor events that, that are related directly to Ukraine, not to the Soviet Union. So. so yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, this place is, I would clearly say it's probably one of my best uh, views that I had here in uh, in Kiev, probably one of my best places because it has a uh, a beautiful view on the east bank of uh, the city of Kiev. Because this monument is looking the the Dnieper uh, River, which I will uh, show you, and there is this beautiful they call it the glass uh, bridge. Uh, not sure which year they have built it, but it's really beautiful. Like as you can see now, it's the the sunset, so it's getting uh, more crowded. And yeah, this uh, this is how it is here. Beautiful uh, summer night. Happy faces, hi. How are you? I'm fine. See, she's fine. <laughs> I'm fine too. Hold on, let's see what's written here. Because I want to see which year it was built. Sorry. Yeah, there's an exhibition. There is an exhibition. And there is a musician getting ready to sing. So the vibes are going to be really nice. Let's see if he's gonna sing anything romantic. Doesn't make any sense, I'm alone here. <laughs> I'm gonna be romantic with my camera, with my Sony Alpha 3 A7, my best friend. It's beautiful, the view is nice, let me show you. I'm trying to find that perfect spot so I can show you how, or you wanna see now? Let me show you. at the beautiful nature so we are still in the same place the people's uh, friendship arch and yeah trees are trees are everywhere and here is the Dnieper river and here's me That's what you wanted, that I smile. I'm smiling. It's so calm. <laughs> See, it's weird, like in the Western uh, Europe, when there's like um, something nice like this, uh, usually it's it's more crowded, way more crowded. And you don't have like your peace and your quiet, you know, like between the guy who is trying to, to sell you, I don't know, some, some souvenirs that you didn't ask for, between the other guy who is planning to, you know, to take your, uh, your, your wallet it's yeah I don't know it's just uh, 
the east feels uh, feels more safe to me thank you and definitely more free <laughs> i can sit inside the restaurant in the west i can't the beautiful fountain behind me here and uh, a lot of trees. looks like uh, looks like a park i love how they preserve their nature to be honest a coffee lemonade ice cream here we go in case you are thirsty let's see what they have it smells like the you see the hot wine that we have in Christmas market. It smells the same thing. Here we arrive to most probably one of the most uh, important. Uh, symbol and monument in Kyiv and for Ukrainian people and that is the monument of Volodymyr the Great who is considered as the um, the one who Christianized uh, Kyiv and Rus or uh, Kyiv because Kyiv was a pagan so like even when when he came back to rule over Kyiv he had like many years when he where he ruled as a pagan uh, prince but then he's the one who decided to Christianize it the story behind it is that I think he sent he sent like missionaries to see how the other religions were because for him he was happy being a pagan but he understood somehow that there is an influence belonging to a religion so what he did he sent uh, kind of messengers to other countries to a Muslim country to a Jewish country and then to a uh, Christian country so he started with the Jewish and when they described to him the situation of Jewish people at the time they didn't have a state they didn't have a country he didn't want to belong to, to that group of people, you know, like group of people who don't have even their own country. He said, I'm not interested. So when the, the other mis, um, uh, missionary who went to a Muslim land, he explained to him, you know, like how Islam is, etc. You know, like at the time we're talking about the year 980, where it has been like 200 years since, um, no, 300 years since, uh, since Islam came, etc. So they had like, you know, a strong uh, empire. But he, one thing turned him off about Islam is the drinking thing. So when they told him that they can't drink alcohol, <laughs> he says no. So he ended up uh, choosing Christianity. So and then he Christianized uh, uh, Kiev. Kiev could have been today a Jewish or Muslim stage or still a pagan stage. But yeah, that's uh, that's how uh, how it started. So yeah, his uh, his monument is huge. Actually. I don't know if you can see it. There is some smoke behind. Me. I don't know what it does. See, in Ukraine they don't do things halfway. I've never seen anything like this, but I love the energy that they are, they are putting and the effort. So it's even more beautiful now look at all the beautiful lights here in the park i thought i would not continue my photo shooting session but i was wrong now that i have my hot tea i can um, have even more energy to continue see more people coming From these beautiful romantic vibes on the glass bridge in Kyiv, Ukraine, I tell you thank you very much for watching the video and I fix the next rendezvous for you because my journey has to continue here in Ukraine. The next things that's gonna happen here on the scientific side, you know, the science videos that I do will be really big. I can't tell that much what I have in my head, but I promise it's gonna be really big from this beautiful communist Soviet monument that they will probably soon dismantle from this beautiful town of Kyiv. I'll tell you my friends, see you next time. Ciao. For those who are wondering whether Ukraine wanna be more East related or West related, <laughs> let me show you this. It's written EUAM, 
Ukraine, which means European Union Advisory Mission. When I saw it from far, I said, hold on, did Ukraine join the, the European Union? And I didn't realize it. But no, they are part of the advisory mission. And that gives you a sense of uh, the energy here in Ukraine, you know, like whether if they want to be, you know, like more towards the East, uh, rebuild their communist past, or if they have turned that page and they want to be more like West oriented. Hope this one will give you a foretaste of the intentions of Ukraine. <laughs> Соседи не спят, кто под нами внизу